Sagittarius, and welcome to your yearly horoscope for 2018 by Ama, or rather I should say your reading. This recording will be for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Rising, and Sagittarius Moon. Always remember that if your sun sign is not making sense to you, maybe your rising sign or your moon sign could make better sense to you. This will be a general overview for your sign for the year 2018. If you like to know more, I am going to make a whole new video for your sign for download and purchase through email.com. The link for that is right down here below. For those of you who are interested in the show more description uh, box. In the Vimeo videos, I am focusing on breaking down each and every month for you Sagittarius. I'm going to take more of an approach from the Akashic records and I'm going to give you an insight into each and every month of uh, the new year 2018. Again, the link for that you will find it right down here in the show more description box. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Welcome to my returning subscribers. If you like my videos, please subscribe. So please like, share and subscribe. And remember, when you subscribe, uh, you also get to click on the notification icon. This way you will be notified each and every time that I upload special videos like this one or every time that I will be doing live streaming. The notification icon would be the little bell icon right here next to the subscribe uh, button. If you like to have a personal reading, a private session, please email me at amalightworker at gmail.com or please visit my website amalightworker.com. Uh, so allow me now to start with this reading. I am using three cards from the traditional tarot deck. I will be using one card to represent every four months of the year. The first card will be representing January, February, April and March, so on and so forth. So these are the cards that showed up for you. And I am also using an additional card from the Psychic Tarot deck by John Holland. Uh, when I get done with your yearly horoscope, I am also going to do your predictions for January 2018. And for your January predictions, I am using two cards from the John, uh, from the John Holland Tarot deck, uh, the, the Psychic Tarot deck. So two cards for uh, January, and I haven't flipped the cards yet. I will be doing that um, uh, when is the right uh, moment. So me and you are going to discover the cards uh, together. Now, 2018. The first card that wanted to show up in this reading for uh, you is the Two of uh, Wands. The Two of Wands represents January, February, March and April. And to me personally, it means starting to build the foundation as to where do you want to go from uh, now. Sometimes it also means a struggle of choices for its sake. It also means commerce, trade, negotiations. Sometimes to me personally, it also signifies a partnership or a collaboration or an alliance. And it also means opportunity or people coming together uh, to kind of help you. Uh, so this is not the traditional meaning of the card, but this is what it means to uh, me. And sometimes in these cards to me, it also means important news important information, important communication. It also means you sharing information, news with uh, others uh, or exchange of information between you and other uh, people. So share of the news. Travel, it also does denote travel sometimes to me. 
networking and if this is not physical trouble this could also denote a mental trouble when you learn about new countries new cultures new things and that's how your mind expands so it also uh, means uh, expansion of your mind or expanding your communication now allow me to tune in so i can get more particular significant messages for uh, you why this car showed up in this reading what are the psychic messages behind this i keep getting from my guides that for some of you this year at the very beginning for many of you will um, be a significant turning point it could be very emotional it could be you could be very excited you could be a very spiritual but i keep getting that whatever is going to happen at the beginning of the year you are going to be given a chance and an opportunity to complete to finalize to end either toward the middle part of the year or some success to happen toward the end of the year so at the beginning of months from January to through April, a lot of you will be doing new things, launching new stuff, kind of setting up yourself for uh, success. It is about some of you either deciding to explore more of your own unique talents, gifts, abilities, exploring matters of spirituality and uh, metaphysics. For some of you, it could be about you either being more active uh, with uh, social media, networking, learning more about different ways of how you can use technology and communication uh, to your advantage to do and create something that will help you to build either uh, fortune, to build and strengthen your finances, or kind of to change your life in some uh, way. I also keep getting that during this hard time between January and April, some of you could be dealing with either renewing a contract, renewing an agreement, or having to sign a new contracts, new uh, agreements. A partnership deal could be in the offering during this uh, time. For other uh, Sagittarians, this could be some sort of an offer, maybe out of the blue, about uh, a job opportunity, a career opportunity, an opportunity to make more money, a salary uh, increase. But this could also be in a business related sense or in a business venture kind of partnering up with someone else so together you can generate wealth or to collaborate uh together to join forces together in uh, some business venture or a business related uh situation you may hear of news information throughout january february uh, march and april that in some ways may not necessarily please you a hundred percent you may have to uncover discover a lot of hidden things you may have to discover a lot of things from the past that maybe you were not aware of uh, these things happening, kind of either somebody may be spilling uh, secrets, and it does feel that if there was something in relation to your past, to people from your past, or other important information, anything in relation to your past, during this time frame, uh, you may just find out about it all by uh, coincidence. For some reason, I keep getting that some of you could be doing either a lot of research. This could be for work reasons. This could be for personal uh, reasons. I keep getting research and quite being very investigative about something. You know, when you're investigative... Um, strike 
hits you and you start to question and investigate uh, everything. Now, for some of you, this could really be about uh, some connection to someone the investigated uh, around you. This could be about a company, this could be about uh, financial sources, or something that could maybe sounding a little bit fishy when it comes to a financial situation that requires some uh, investigation. Please be careful on how you choose to use your words because it just so could be that some of your words could be uh, misunderstood if you, have, if you are dealing with foreign languages during this time, international travel, uh, any translations, there could be something that uh, won't be translated uh, properly, especially if you are dealing with uh, foreign uh, languages. But I also keep getting that some of you may be involved either in uh, promotions, maybe you are promoting a product, or something on behalf of your company, you could be trying to promote your own self, your own skill, you know, trying to uh, advertise. Maybe you're going to make some uh, positive changes to your resume. You're going to decide to post this resume in different uh, websites, and that's how you're going to be promoting yourself. You may be promoting a book. You could be promoting a YouTube channel, a login, blogging. So there's going to be for some of you the sense of some promotions um, or you trying to promote something uh, taking uh, place. You may also be uh, the one helping somebody else. Maybe you are promoting them or helping them in other uh, ways. You may hear of news that or information that either is not correct or it could be some sort of a scam, scam emails, uh, it could be about something that you may hear on TV and maybe there's going to be another news uh, and maybe it's going to be like whatever it was said at first, now the second news is going to be like we were wrong or we need to clarify something. So, and that would also be happening in a very personal situation with you. So please be careful with uh, that. We are also going to have a lunar eclipse by the end of January. Uh, January 31st, 2018, there's going to be an eclipse. And the way this is coming to me, excuse me, I apologize about that, excuse me. It does feel that for some of you, uh, you may start to either worry, stress, or you may have this great desire or ideas. Maybe you're going to have some ideas about uh, where do you want your life to go? Uh, what is going to be your new mission in uh, life? Maybe for some of you, this is going to be about you rearranging um, money, finances, financial matters, uh, banking, anything in relation to your finances, maybe rearrange them in a new way and trying to make everything a little bit more practical for you and your life circumstance. And I also do keep getting a sense of that you in some ways are going to deal with change, inconsistencies or things constantly keep on changing. Therefore, you could be making quite an effort trying to be balanced, trying to be balanced internally, but also trying to be focused, concentrated and to be balanced with anything else that is going on uh, outside of uh, you. For some of you, I do feel that you are really going to welcome this change. Maybe your uh, working hours are not really going to be steady. Maybe you are going to be facing with a lot of changes in the workplace. And for some of you, this could be totally fine. Maybe you were looking for some change. You know, something that is not uh, monotone. But for other Sagittarians, um, changes or work not being so, um, or work not giving you that sense of security and steadiness could quite be a little bit of a uh, problem. 
I do keep getting that during this time you could be having some plans about uh, traveling. Uh, I keep getting that for some of you you could be traveling on behalf of your work or um, you need to travel to make an opportunity uh, happen. You may be traveling to attend a spiritual uh, retreat. You could be traveling just for a pure joy, fun, and enjoyment. But it does feel that in this trip, or in, or maybe it's multiple trips, you are going to have the sense of you uh, have accomplished quite a uh, lot. I also keep getting that for uh, quite uh quite uh, a good amount of you uh, Sagittarians you could also be refocusing your forces and your energies towards making better your health your physical uh, activity but this time around things are just going to happen with a lot more ease you don't have to uh, really struggle to find that motivation to find the strength to go through um, uh, you know training physical activity physical uh, exercise uh, or you're not going to feel so challenged to kind of follow a particular diet uh, or anything that is required for your nutritional uh, needs. Could also be, you know, doctors uh, prescribed or doctors are advising that you avoid certain uh, foods. If you have had in the past any significant health issues or a chronic uh, disease or maybe a condition that sometimes you do okay and then the symptoms come back again. I do feel that throughout January, February, March and April, you are going to find some, either an alternative solution or some solution that will be permanent. You could be getting to the root cause of uh, that. For some of you, also international travel seems to be very much uh, highlighted. The next card that you have is the Empress, representing May, June, July, and August. To me, the Empress, it means, it represents feelings, emotions, your self-expression, socializing. Uh, it also represents long or short distance uh, trip, abundance. It also represents fertility, creativity, the birth of new ideas, but it also uh, signifies a uh, pregnancy. And sometimes it also represents a female spirit guide, guide a mother-like figure, someone who is no longer with us and is now uh, serving as one of your spirit guides, or one of your female spirit guides that you don't have to necessarily have met them uh, from this lifetime you do have a spiritual connection with them uh, because they are part of your ancestral uh, family therefore you were together in a different uh, lifetime for some of you you are going to take whatever means sacred whatever it means spiritual to you in a whole new direction very particularly if you are someone who either has maybe you have a spiritual based uh business there's going to be some significant growth and significant success if you have or work in the fields of media uh communication and financial and if, uh, maybe you work in a field that uh, has to deal with finances, again, I keep getting this great success. Um, maybe some opportunities just suddenly uh, landing in your lap. Opportunities come coming to you out of uh, nowhere. But generally, I keep getting that whatever you maybe were struggling a little bit in, uh, January and uh, February, maybe some emotional struggles, mental struggles, or even something that ha even struggling a little bit with uh, a financial issue. I do feel that throughout this time in May, June, July, and August, you are going to feeling you are going to start to feel a little bit more stable. So 
if initially maybe emotionally you were struggling now you're going to start to feel emotionally more balanced and more stable if it was about finances you know mortgages bills credit cards money worries now you're going to start to uh, notice a certain sense of stability in your finances but also uh, financial uh, growth for some of you i do feel that uh, little by little, you are going to start to recreate a whole new life for you. This could also be about a new home for some of you, but I also do feel that for many of you, you maybe you are working towards uh, buying uh, a new uh, home. So for some of you, I also keep getting the purchase of a new home or a new property. You may also be purchasing a business, but first and foremost, it did came to me as you purchasing a home and really enjoying spending time um, at home. You are going to have a sense of you being awakened. So, if you were in denial about something, it feels like your mind is just being reawakened. If there was some, uh, you know when sometimes you take courses and maybe you learned about this subject years ago and now all you have to do is kind of refresh your mem memory? This is the kind of feeling that you are going to have throughout this time frame. So that was an example that uh, I gave you. And you're going to have this sense of, of being reawakened. Uh, your body is going to get uh, stronger. You're going to have more vitality. You're going to start to feel more uh, optimistic. You're going to find out that many new doors will be opening up for you. And one of these doors, it is about you connecting with with new groups of people creating a new uh, solid uh, friendships and I also keep getting that whatever you needed to let go mentally um, or in any uh, other form it, it does feel that throughout May, June, July and August you are definitely uh, dealing successfully with anything anyone that you need to let uh, go even if it is about your own personal possessions because if you are moving in a new place for some of you, you may have to deal with issues of having to let go of your old stuff or maybe your old place attachments emotional attachments and kind of redirect yourself uh, in a new home in a new direction if uh, I also keep getting that you may hear some sort of a good news or encouraging news coming to you about your pregnancy this doesn't have to be necessarily about your own pregnancy this could be about someone in the family this could be uh, about a friend this could also be about uh, people that you communicate in your community neighbors getting to know them uh, better or some you may hear of someone being pregnant if this is not you personally you may also hear of somebody uh, being uh, pregnant because I also keep getting lots of gatherings, lots of gatherings, celebrations, to either celebrate some success in regards to certifications, diplomas, graduations, uh, babies, pregnancies, baby showers. So it does feel like lots of gatherings uh, and good news uh, from family, friends, and uh, loved ones. There's going to be you rediscovering a whole new area of emotions. Maybe emotions that you were trying to avoid in the past. But you're going to find that as you are being awakened, your heart is going to be more open. And your heart is going to know who to trust. Your heart is going to know where to give, where to receive. And your soul, your heart, it's going to uh, kind of guide you. You're going to have this intuitive insight and you're going to know when to make the right choices and the right decisions. However, if you have to make an important choice or an important decision in regards to a partnership, in regards to a relationship, in regards to a friendship, um, it would be best if you kind of make that choice or that decision towards uh, the end of August uh, rather than uh, earlier. So in some aspects, you have to allow for some time. You know, 
uh, maybe certain things need to take more uh, time. You may be completing something of importance, something may be coming to fruition during this uh, time, and I also keep getting that um, even though you may be going through some changes or struggles, I do keep getting that the end result is going to be you feeling invigorated, more powerful, and just generally having this kind of sense of you being uh, protected. The next card that you have is the Temperance card, representing September, October, November, and December 2018. And uh, to me, it means uh, God, divine forces working either through you or with you, about uh, you, to kind of protect you, divine help, your prayers being uh, answered. Uh, it also means that your angel besides you is trying to help you and to guide you and to make you feel uh, protected. But it also signifies that balance with, within you. Because I mentioned that at some point, some of you may be feeling like trying very hard to keep and maintain that uh, balance. Whether they're talking about your inner balance or um, balance in different circumstances in your uh, life. So this card is bringing to you a better sense of balance inside of you, in your uh, external uh, world. Um, and it also um, uh, represents, it also means that something that you believe that you have dealt with and is, and is completed, is over, could, may arise again to test you. And this could be something from the past in relation to uh, old friends, old lovers, your habits, your desires, health money, any business issues from the past. So something from the past during this time frame will come back uh, to you. You may have to deal again uh, with uh, that. But also remember that as you are dealing with these issues, remember that your angel is uh, protecting you. This time around, not, also, not only you are going to be a lot more successful with dealing with these issues, but I also keep getting that you're going to be left with a sense of serenity, uh, peace, and accomplishment. For some of you, I keep getting again a possibility for you to move up in the world, possibilities for you to uh, grow your uh, career. There could be some opportunities again for you to increase your income and it may just be presented to you again either through people that you are going to meet or possible uh, partnerships. Uh, this could be also maybe for some of you who are going to be pregnant, it's time uh, to give uh, birth. So all problems are, all health problems are now coming back or something is coming uh, to uh, fruition. You are going to be celebrated uh, in some ways or in some uh, forms because I also keep getting uh, that throughout through 2018, you may be the one helping someone in particular and they are going to be very grateful for that and there is the sense of uh, your efforts being uh, worthy. You may be celebrated about some huge and significant uh, achievement and success in your uh, through uh, through your uh, work. For some of you, I also keep getting getting ready to retire, getting ready ready to retire in a successful, powerful uh, way. Uh, when it comes to a business venture or a business problem. Uh, whatever this is, I do feel that something will be resolved and whatever you are going to be creating, beginning, I have a feeling that it may last for the next uh, three years because there are some other planetary movements happening that kind of do indicate uh, changes for the next three years, especially if you start or you begin uh, something uh, new. And it does have some sort of a positive spin to it for the next three uh, years. If you have lost touch in some ways with an old friend, 
I do feel that throughout this time you're going to reconnect with an old friend. You may find that maybe an old lover could be returning to you. However, the way this is coming, I don't see a relationship, a new relationship forming with an old lover. But definitely, maybe it's returning because either uh, this lover or you need in some way to have some uh, closure. I keep getting that you're going to have the feeling that you are flying and you are flying uh, high. Uh, anything that uh, in your life do you feel like it was limiting you or maybe uh, you are trying to make that possibility and opportunity happen and then yet in some ways you run into uh, limitations. I do feel that by the end of the year, by September, October, November and December, I do feel like everything is going to be open for uh, you. You're going to have the green lights into many different areas of your uh, life. I also keep getting that... Uh, for many of you, I keep getting the end of November and December, maybe meeting someone, could be a romantic relationship, but this person is kind of going to give you uh, a better sense of peace and stability uh, in your life. So maybe it's some relationship that will happen a little bit easier if you meet new people in a love related sense toward the end of November, beginning of uh, December. And I also keep getting that in some ways you're going to feel healed, you're going to feel cured from any fears that maybe you had. Maybe your body had some, uh, you know, health issues. Again, you're going to feel uh, healed or uh, cured. You may have to, again, go over some of your financial affairs. You may have to reconfigure again, maybe banking. Uh, maybe again re-examine your financial uh, affairs, but it does feel that this is happening for a good uh, purpose because I also keep getting the feeling of again financial rewards and financial abundance in the making for uh, many of uh, you. As long as you keep an open uh, mind. So, that's what I keep getting through that card. I hope that that makes sense to you. Now, the additional card that I pulled for you from the John Holland uh, Psychic Tarot deck is Partnership and Alliances. So let me see what messages uh, this card uh, reveals. Uh, the meaning of the card is uh, something is coming to uh, fruition or something is coming to uh, completion. Maybe this is something that you were looking forward to, to this uh, completion. But again, you may still have a lot to do, a lot more work ahead of you. This is only that uh, one uh, first significant success or achievement and there's more and more that is coming. However, uh, please also notice the synchronistic events around you, uh, how opportunities are showing up for you at very specific moments of your life, how you are running into people in very specific moments. Um, so notice these synchronistic uh, events and also your dreams may be a little bit challenging, could be very much more highlighted than uh, usual. So there's going to be a sense throughout 2018 that uh, there's some sort of a quiet premonition in your dreams or maybe you need to examine your uh, dreams. I'm talking about both kinds of dreams. The goals, the dreams and wishes that you set for yourself, but also about uh, what you dream about when you sleep. Sorry, something here is bothering me. I think it's my lipstick or something in my face. Okay, sorry about that. So please pay attention to your dreams because your dreams uh, could be trying to get your uh, attention. Always remember that you need to let go of your fear. You need to let go of your worry. You need to let go of your uh, anxiety. You need to let go of any limiting thoughts. And you need to let go of any negative uh, behaviors, negative thoughts, negative feelings. You have to let go of anything of a lower uh, vibration. And once you, because by you doing that, 
you are going to lay ahead of you a new path, a much more positive uh, direction. And I also keep getting that from time to time you may have that sense of you being trapped, stagnating. This could be the cause of maybe some subconscious fear or some subconscious belief that you still need to deal with it, figure it out. Uh, and that's why maybe from time to time you have this feeling of you being uh, stuck. Maybe this deep down it is about uh, what you believe that is possible, what you believe that you uh, can uh, achieve. And at the same time, it is about you trusting your heart and trusting your own soul, trusting your own wisdom. Trust that you are going to be divinely guided, okay? And your heart and your soul will be divinely guided. Uh, I also keep getting that you don't need... Um, um, partnerships. For some of you, uh, a love partnership or at least one partnership, uh, you may have to struggle uh, a little bit during this uh, time or uh, the union that you have with uh, someone. But overall, I keep getting that if you work in a relationship, if you work in your marriage, if that is the case, you're going to have some positive aspect, but you may have some situations where you are going to feel a little bit not so sure or uh, insecure. And I also keep getting that overall, you are going to be able to create harmonious unions with others, harmonious alliances, harmonious, harmonious uh, partnerships, and success comes in many different forms. Success comes in many different ways. And for you, success this year may show up for you from some very unlike, unlikely sources. Therefore, you always need to keep an open mind and uh, listen to uh, others. So basically, I keep getting that um, it is about um, the fruit of your labor. If you work hard, you are going to be com compensated for it with this emotional abundance, but also with uh, financial uh, abundance. And you are going to find yourself in circumstances where either you may be reaching out to other people, the other people may be reaching out to you, and together uh, you are going to be able to uh, achieve a significant success or significant uh, results. This could also be about a love partnership. This could be an um, important soulmate uh, that you are going to have a relationship in uh, 2018. There's going to be some sort of a karmic uh, connection. Now, I don't know how the story is going to go, okay? But definitely, you, if, if you are single and looking, you could be a, a meeting somebody that you are going to have a karmic uh, connection with. It's going to be, and you may have a relationship. Now, um, I hope that that made uh, sense to uh, you. And I'm now going to take an overlook at your January 2018 uh, prediction. So, uh, you have two cards that are showing up. Suffering in silence. Notice the number nine in the card. And the next one is material and spiritual prosperity. And here's the number six on top. Um, suffering in silence. To me, it means that there must be something that maybe you are trying to kind of analyze or kind of review in your mind. Um, this could be some of you could be steering your own uh, juices. You may be dealing with uh, maybe you have a talent, maybe you have an idea, but maybe you lack the courage to kind of do these things and maybe you need to have a little bit of more motivation. For some of you, it could be about maybe uh, all of your focus is going to be on taxes, banking, financial issues, any mortgages that you may be uh, or rent that you may be uh, preoccupied uh, with. But I also keep getting that it's going to be time for you to manifest. You are going to manifest something in uh, January. 
as long as you recognize, you try to uncover and recognize and strengthen your own special, unique talents, abilities, uh, skill, pursue any kind of special interest that you have, especially any interest that could be uh, metaphysical or uh, spiritual. For some of you, you may be needing some time alone to think, uh, to meditate, you may be needing some isolation. For other ones, this could be about uh, you. Maybe every feeling, every feeling that is challenging to you is going to have a time. It doesn't matter when you, it happens in life, when you have to deal with that uh, feeling, especially any feelings that, or, or even any thoughts that you are trying to suppress or to, uh, to uh, suppress. For some of you, it's going to be also about, maybe you're going to hear something that uh, could be harmful uh, to you, maybe someone, maybe in their words, they're not going to be so nice to you, and you may have to deal with uh, that, but I don't feel that that's going to be that particularly that uh, significant. I feel that some of you could be thinking about going um, or doing something that is either represents your own job or maybe some job that you really loved in the past. For some of you, you may be thinking of going back to teaching or for some of you, you may be thinking about a, um, a learning, uh, a learning, learning something uh, new. But whatever this is, I do keep getting that you may have a sense of being stuck or stagnating due to your own uh, limiting th uh, thoughts and uh, behaviors and you do not have to suffer in silence. Reach out to other people for help or for uh, advice. You yourself, you yourself, you may be drawn to some sort of a charity act, uh, volunteering, or you could be drawn to uh, help uh, someone uh, as well. Uh, the other card that you have is material and spiritual prosperity. So that's a good card. These two are compensating each other. Whatever, uh, you know, you are uh, suffering in some ways, you're going to have uh, prosperity. So you're going to have some uh, solution. Uh, so uh, what does it uh, mean? Peaceful uh, and... Uh, uh, tranquil time to resolve a problem or you're also going to notice that some of your problems or uh, problems that you thought you had may uh, seem to uh, disappear. It also represents a sudden bonus, a sudden uh, pay or raise or a sudden promotion. It's something that maybe you didn't really uh, expect. It also means that either uh, you are working with us, uh, another person or with a group of people in unison together toward a common uh, goal. So it's going to be in some ways a month of uh, prosperity and balance. It's going to be a time for you to kind of align or to balance your mind, your body and your spirit. And for some of you, I really feel that this could be really oriented towards you trying to exercise more and to keep your body healthy. For other ones, this is going to be about uh, you finding that uh, peace that you want, uh, that internal uh, balance, feeling more uh, grateful, feeling connected to greater forces in the uh, world, feeling more uh, spiritual. And I also keep getting that you're going to be able to work out an issue in regards to your uh, finances. You may struggle a little bit with some delays. I don't know what kind of delays these are. Could be delays in traveling if you are traveling, could be other kinds of delays. But I also keep getting that in some ways you are going to make something uh, work, especially if uh, it is in regards to uh, money. Uh, money could also be showing up to you through a partner that you have, through a spouse, a business partner. Maybe they're bringing in some opportunity, a big client, a big project, or maybe they're bringing in uh, the uh, money. So I keep getting some sort of a powerful and successful partnership in the making throughout uh, January. This could also be, you know, a new friendship. 
not necessarily in sense of a business partnership or a business venture. But I keep getting whatever you are going to begin in January, maybe not right away you're going to see the results, but either by the mid of uh, mid year or by the end of the year, this is going to bring you some huge, significant. Uh, results um, spiritually, you know, emotionally, you're going to be very pleased, but also materially. Uh, so uh, material uh, gains and uh, growth. So I would encourage you to pursue, you know, uh, new uh, ideas. So this is what I keep getting for the month of January 2018. I hope that that made sense to you. Remember, there's going to be a lunar eclipse. And maybe, you know, sometimes this lunar eclipse is really uh, affect people at an emotional uh, level. Thank you so very much. I wish you the very best throughout 2018. Happy New Year to you, your family, your friends, and your loved ones. Click in the link down here below if you'd like to know uh, more. There's a link there that's going to take you to a whole new video that I made for you. Email me for a private session, amalightworker at gmail.com or uh, amalightworker.com. And remember, in January, I will also be doing a live streaming. Therefore, turn on that notification button. This way you will be notified when uh, I'll do that live uh, streaming for uh, you. All the best.